Good morning to you, uh, General Pavel. Uh, first of all, you know, this is going to go through pretty quickly. Do you think how much of a spanner in the works do you think Turkey will be? Good morning. Uh, I don't think the Turkey will be a, a true obstacle to the process. Uh, as usually, uh, every such an uh, opportunity uh, is uh, uh, an opportunity for making a deal. Turkey uh, has a number of uh, open issues uh, with NATO and uh, will be using them as a uh, bargaining chip uh, in uh, negotiations about uh, accession of Sweden and Finland. Uh, that being said, it could still be, what, six to nine months before they're actually fully fledged members of the alliance. Um, in the meantime, we have this historic pact that uh, Britain has put forward, uh, suggesting that there would be support for Finland or Sweden if they were invaded. How much of a realistic threat and concern is that, do you think, given the kind of rhetoric we've heard coming from the Kremlin just in the last 24 hours about threats from the West? Well, it's, um, it's nothing new. Uh, Russian narrative uh, in terms of uh, NATO enlargement uh, is a continuous uh, line of argument uh, that NATO uh, is an aggressive organization threatening Russia, encircling it, uh, and uh, planning uh, for uh, destruction of Russia. Of course, it's all the nonsense, uh, and uh, uh, the same uh, narrative uh, comes now to Finland and Sweden. Uh, of course, uh, Russia is much more concerned uh, with uh, Sweden uh, than it was uh, with uh, some other countries, for example, like with Georgia, uh, because uh, it has a uh, uh, 1,300 kilometers long uh, land border with Finland and an experience uh, of an armed conflict. Uh, uh, they know that the uh, Finnish army is much more potent uh, than uh, uh, the armies of uh, many other countries. So it, it is a concern for, for Russia. But at the same time, Finland and Sweden are uh, very uh, proud and self-confident countries, and they will uh, take a decision uh, that will be appropriate uh, to their own uh, defence. And a huge boost to NATO as well. You know, the contributions of some of the more recent joiners will be dwarfed in comparison to the sort of contribution that both of these countries will bring. That's true. Uh, the countries are not uh, so uh, uh, large in terms of uh, population. It's uh, um, five uh, and eight, eight million, respectively. But uh, compared to number of population, uh, their militaries are extremely effective. And not only in terms of a number of equipment, uh, but uh, also in terms of uh, modern equipment, in terms of interoperability with uh, NATO, uh, uh, and also uh, they are very, very well trained. So uh, overall, uh, if uh, these two countries uh, join, it will be a great asset to NATO. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, they will contribute to the, uh, to the overall capability of, uh, of NATO.